Hey everyone, in today's video, hopefully I have taught you how to unlock gold for the FTAC Recon. This video will have everything you need to know, including what maps you should be playing on, what game modes, my class setup, the best attachments for your weapon, what killstreaks you should be running, and additional pointers and tips. Without further ado, let's get right into it. What I'm going to do is throw some timestamps up on screen now, which will also be linked down in the description down below, so you can skim through the video and find which parts you need. Hopefully, this will help you guys out just a little bit more. Let me help you familiarize yourself with what camos you'll have to unlock and how to unlock them for your FTAC Recon. The first camo beach to unlock at level 2, and you'll have to get 50 kills with the FTAC Recon. The second camo, Torn Skills, you'll have to get your weapon to level 9, and you'll have to get 10 double kills. Desert Cat, you'll have to get your FTAC to level 15, and you'll have to get 50 suppressor kills. The fourth camo, Haunting you'll have to get your weapon to level 22, and then you'll have to get 30 kills while crouched. Once you complete all four of these camos right here, you'll then have access to the gold camo challenge, which you'll have to get three kills without dying 10 times. We'll go more in depth in just a few moments about how exactly we should be unlocking all of these camos right here. Next, let's talk about my class setup that I used for the FTAC Recon. My class setup is probably not going to be the best class setup for you or for anyone else because we all have different play styles and we all prefer different attachments. With that being said, if you still want my class setup, then here it is. For your primary, obviously you're going to want the FTAC Recon because that's what we're leveling up and getting the camos for. And right here are the attachments I was running. You're not going to have all of these attachments as soon as you get the weapon. However, by the time it's max level, you should have all of these attachments right here. And this should be your end game build. You have the 15 round magazine on, the second ZX rear grip, the Assault 60 stock factory, the Schlager Peck Box IV laser, and the Tempest Trench Pro barrel. This weapon is super deadly at close, medium, and far range. So another tip to keep in mind is you're going to want to play on semi-auto mode. With this assault rifle, it is a two shot up close and semi-auto mode. And when you switch the gun to full auto, which is indicated in the bottom right by pressing B on keyboard, it actually takes three bullets to kill them as you can see right there. So what I recommend you do is playing in the semi-auto mode because you'll be doing more damage. For your secondary weapon, you could run whatever you like here. I'm currently just running the X13 Auto because I have everything leveled up and done with camos. If we're trying to get those camos done, definitely put on a rocket launcher so you can level up your weapon and get those camos done. For your tactical, try running something like decoy grenades. If your weapon's already max level or you just don't need to level it up anymore for some reason, I highly recommend running something else like a stun grenade, smoke grenade, shock sticks, or even a flash grenade. So you may be wondering, why are decoy grenades so good for leveling up your weapons? Well, that's because when you throw down a decoy grenade and one of your teammates kills an enemy near where your decoy grenade went off, you'll actually get a small amount of XP that goes towards whatever weapon you're holding. I believe the XP is called decoy distraction. So whenever you see assist points of decoy distraction, you already know it's going straight towards your weapon level, which means you'll be able to level up your weapon in a shorter amount of time, which is super, super nice. For your lethal, you can also just run whatever you like here. I'm running a throwing knife because when you kill an enemy with a throwing knife, you get XP for that and that XP will go towards whatever weapon you are currently holding out at the time. It also acts as a one-click melee that will one-tap any enemy you see. Instead of smacking them twice with your gun, you'll knife them and that can help count towards some of your camo progress, like the three kills without dying. For your perk package, I highly recommend running scavenger, double time, fast hands, and quick fix. And for my field upgrades, I was running dead silence and the portable radar. Feel free to change this class setup as much or as little as you'd like. I want to talk about what kill streaks you should be running when going for those camo challenges and leveling up your weapon. Since you're going for those camo challenges, I highly advise you to go against your thoughts and not use those lethal kill streaks as it'll not help you towards your camo challenges. So with that being said, the three recommended kill streaks I recommend you run is going to be the UAV, the counter UAV, and the advanced UAV. All three of these kill streaks right here are going to help you out tremendously when going for those camo challenges. So again, to sum it up, use the UAV, the counter UAV, and the advanced UAV, and I do not recommend using any of the other kill streaks unless you don't have these three unlocked. So you may be wondering what game mode should I be playing in order to level up my weapon and get those camo challenges done much, much easier. The first game mode I'm going to recommend you play in order to level up your weapons is going to be a game mode like Invasion. Invasion is super, super good for leveling up your weapons because Invasion is a 20 versus 20 game mode with an additional 20 AIs on each team, so a 40 versus 40. When you kill the enemy AIs, you actually get the full amount of XP towards your weapon, so this will allow you to level up your weapons super quick. However, killing those AIs does not count towards any of your camo progress, so Invasion 
animation is only good for leveling up your weapons and not any camo progress. Another amazing game mode to level up your weapons is going to be a game mode like Kill Confirmed. The reason Kill Confirmed is super good is because when you kill an enemy, they drop dog tags and picking up those dog tags will reward you with some XP. That XP goes towards whatever weapon you were currently holding out at the time. So when you pick up those dog tags, make sure you're holding out the weapon you're trying to level. Pairing Kill Confirmed with something like decoy grenades will allow you to get a ton of XP in a short amount of time. So I recommend you trying out Kill Confirmed if you don't want to play Invasion. Other game modes I highly recommend you try and play are going to be game modes like Hardpoint, Headquarters, and Domination. These game modes right here are going to allow you to get those camo challenges done a lot quicker, and it's also not bad XP for leveling up your weapons. So I highly recommend trying out these three game modes right here to get those camo challenges done and to level up your weapon. So to sum it up, play Invasion and Kill Confirm to level up your weapons, and play those objective-based game modes to level up your weapons and get those camo challenges done. One more thing I want to mention is to try out Tier 1 mode. If you don't know what Tier 1 mode is, well, Tier 1 mode is the hardcore of this Call of Duty. If you're not familiar with what hardcore is, then basically hardcore is low health, slow health regeneration, and friendly fire is enabled with limited HUD. Tier 1 is something you can try out as a game mode to play if you're not enjoying the other game modes. You may be wondering, why is Tier 1 so good for getting those camo challenges done or leveling up your weapon if you're just going to die super quick? Well, that's the thing. In Tier 1, if you know where the enemies are and you shoot first, the odds of you killing that person is actually going to be very, very high. So if you can land your shots and shoot first, you're probably going to be able to level up your weapon super quick and get those camo challenges done much, much faster. I recommend trying out Tier 1 if you're not enjoying any of the other game modes. Up on screen now, I'm going to show a list of maps you should be playing on for the FTAC Recon. The FTAC Recon is a short, medium, and long range rifle. So what you're going to want to do is play on these short, medium to long range maps. The only map I would stay away from is the map like Border Crossing because Border Crossing, in my opinion, is a terrible map. So take a look at these maps, figure out which ones you want to play and play on those. The only map I played was Shoot House because currently there's a Shoot House mode in the game. So I would recommend trying that out if you have it. If you don't, play any map you like. Now let's talk exactly how we should be unlocking all of these camos. Beach, get 50 kills with the FTAC recon? Well, by the time your weapon is max level, you really should have this camo done. However, if you don't, the easiest way by far is going to be by hopping into the new Shoot House playlist or just by playing those objective-based game modes like Domination, Hardpoint, and Headquarters. Run around and get those kills and move on to the next camo. Thorn skills, get 10 double kills with the FTAC recon. So you may be thinking, well, double kills sounds pretty hard because this is a semi-auto weapon. However, it's actually very, very easy because you do massive damage up close. What I want you to do is hop into that Shoot House playlist list right now and just run around try and get a kill when you kill one enemy look for another one try to get that double stick to those points and make sure you're playing those objective based game modes if the shoe house playlist is not available then just play those normal objective based game modes like domination hardpoint headquarters stick to the objectives wait for people to come to you um basically patrol an objective when you kill one enemy just rush until you find another one and hopefully it was quick enough to get that double desert cat you get 50 kills using a suppressor well this one's very easy what i want you to do is take off one of your attachments and put on one of these suppressors you really really like what i would do if i you is I would take off the magazine and instead put on the suppressor called FTAC Dreadnought. This one is a very, very good one. Basically, just run around that shoot house playlist or play those objective based game modes. Rush everybody you see, try to get as many kills as you can. Obviously, playing objective game modes are going to get you a lot more kills in that game mode because the enemies are going to be on that point. So, definitely try and play those objective game modes or shoot house because shoot house is a very small map. You'll be able to get a ton of kills in just a short amount of time. Hunting, get 30 kills while crouched. Well, just like the other one, you're going to want to run around on those objective based game modes or on those small maps like shoot house farm 18 run around when you see an enemy just crouch and shoot them it is really as simple as that there's really no tip here just make sure you crouch before you kill them so it counts you don't want to crouch shoot them and then uncrouch before you kill them because technically you're standing you want to crouch for the final shot when you kill them playing on small maps is going to help this out tremendously because obviously crouch walking across the entire map is going to take forever so play small maps crouch when you shoot somebody kill them and you'll be done gold get three kills without dying 10 times so to some of you this might seem a little bit taunting or a little bit scary, especially with a weapon like the FTAC Recon. I had no trouble leveling up the FTAC Recon and getting these camos done. To me, the FTAC Recon was actually a very, very good gun. What I want you to do is play Shoot House or play those objective-based game modes and patrol a certain area of the map, whether that be inside of a building, a head peek behind a car, an alleyway, a corner. What I want you to do is literally just camp. Just camp your ass off with the FTAC Recon. Don't rush too much. Try and stay close to medium range or even long range. This weapon excels at all those ranges. Head up shop. Make sure you have those UAVs and those counter UAVs 
UAVs up so you know where they are and so they can't see where you are. Even place down some portable radars so you have a little bit of an advantage over other people in your area. Watch the points, whether that be a hard point or a flag, because people are definitely going to be wanting to go on those objective points and you'll be able to get a ton of kills that way. Don't get too mad if you die and don't get too salty or too stressed because at the end of the day, the camo challenge is supposed to be fun and the camo grind is supposed to be fun. If you're not having fun and you're just stressed, these camos are going to come a lot slower and you'll overall just be a less happier person. So try to have fun and you'll be able to get that camo done pretty quick. But that's going to be it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped you out just a little bit more. Go and get your gold camo for that FTAC recon. If it did help you, consider leaving comments down below what weapon you want to see me do next. Again, everybody, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Happy grinding, everybody. Bye-bye.